So everybody, one of the things I've been wanting to try to do is make myself a little forge so I can mess around with uh, forging out some knives. Just as a little side hobby type of deal, something for fun. So what I've done is I've wrangled up a nice big brake drum off a Jeep Grand Cherokee. And I've got some angle iron. I'm going to use that for my legs. Some flat bar, I'm going to use that to put reinforcement between my legs. And this is going to serve as the vent that goes in the bottom. I'm going to use a hair dryer to blow air in, and the bottom down there is going to be a trap for uh, charcoal debris to come down through the vent and collect there. I can just unscrew that and empty it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and mark out um, where my legs are going to go on here. I'm going to tack weld them into place, and I'm going to use an angle finder to put them all at the same angle um, so that it kind of comes down, kind of like a stool to give it a little bit more stability. So that's what I'm gonna work on first. So for the legs of the forge, I've uh, gone ahead and drawn in. I just measured down two inches, made a mark, and I'm gonna cut this at an angle so that um, it gives the forge more stability as it's standing up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out and then tack weld them onto the side of the brake drum. All right then, so the next phase of what I'm doing is I'm closing up this big hole here because it is too big for this pipe to fit in, I was going to buy the flange that goes with the pipe, but that's 15 bucks at Home Depot. So instead, I've got this flat bar just laying around that I'm going to use. It will cover the hole here, most of the holes here, so I won't have much to fill. These two I'm going to have to fill when I weld it up, but hey, it is what it is. I'm going to drill a bunch of holes here for ventilation to come uh, for that to come through. You know, when I got my hair dryer on it to uh, fuel the fire, and I'm going to weld that pipe directly to this flat bar here. As I'm welding that, I'm going to weld on the legs. I just kind of eyeballed it. One here, one here, one here, and I measured the distance between each one. Uh, in this instance, is about nine inches. Depending on the diameter of the brake drum that you get, it will be different, but that's the next step of the plan here. Weld everything up. So, after a bit of welding, this is what I've got. Um, the holes are still here because I ran out of welding wire and I'm going to weld around here a little bit, here and here. Also just kind of help fill everything in a little better. But I uh, went ahead and drilled my holes for ventilation as well. Uh, <laughs> if you can see those welds at all, you can see they look completely like crap. I am obviously not the best welder of all time or even remotely decent at it. But I can melt two pieces of metal and make them fuse together. It's not pretty, but it happens. Uh, so the next thing is, like I said, just to finish welding up all that, I will attach a hair dryer here, maybe with a little bit of tubing or something, I'm not sure, or I might just duct tape it. And then I'm going to put some coal in here and uh, try to melt down some steel. And I will make a video on that, so make sure you subscribe and uh, hang around, see what happens. All right, thank you for watching.